positron numbers we were seeing that with pseudo random numbers we could achieve for four threads speed up of 2 okay double for instead of four times we are going for two two times that is the limitation in uh, now that was the what are the random numbers we generated so far is pseudo random numbers so that is the limitation for them and there is another one method is called quasi random numbers that is very good for getting the result quickly it's going to save the time so let us look into that so is a topic is quasi random numbers so we'll see what are they then we'll see how they are different from pseudo random numbers and then we'll see how they can help Quasi random numbers is a systematic building up of gaps. So if we, if I it is a sphere or a circle, I'll put a point in the middle. Then I want I will put it in the on on next uh, edge, the next edge, the next edge, the next edge. If you give me one more point to put, I'll see a very unsafe place to put. So I. Have systematically put points over the circle this is called quasi random numbers they are not random at all they are systematic okay that's why they are called low discrepancy discrepancy sequence we'll see about it here you see quasi random numbers low discrepancy sequence and there are three categories of them Three types of uh, uh, methods. One is Alton, there is Niter Barrier, Zing. So it's N Zing, and next is Sobel. So if you compare with a pseudo random number, it would look like this. The pseudo random numbers are not systematically distributed. What are the methods we saw? The pseudo random numbers, linear congruence will subtract with carry, basically it is done. Right? And you see the distance between the points, which is uniform, which is less uniform, pseudo or quasi, which is uniform. Quasi. Yes, quasi is more uniform. So if it is more uniform, it's more homogeneous. And this discrepancy is a function of in homogeneity. Okay. Discrepancy is a function of in homogeneity. Okay. This is let's say on it is more in origin and this is less in origin okay so uh, non homogeneity is more in pseudo random numbers so discrepancy is more whereas this here the discrepancy in quasi is low the trait is called low discrepancy so yes. okay, this is more technical term than calling it as a quasi random because that is not a random at all okay you see what is the advantage of this low discrepancy? If you look theoretically as well as practically, it can converge the calculation faster, whereas the pseudo random numbers takes longer time to converge. For example, you see if your value you start with this one for no iteration, and if you do more iterations, more trials, you will get result converge to a point okay so if you do further uh, uh, iteration will be like this that means it is converged whereas in uh, pseudo random numbers it is like this so it takes long time the number of iteration is more here this is the axis here iteration 
उसके इंटरेक्शन और ट्रायल्स ट्रायल ट्राई मोर ट्रायल्स नंबर ऑफ ट्रायल्स यू नीड टू डू मोर इन द सोडर एंड रैंडम नंबर्स सो व्हिच इज फास्टर वन कैन यू टेल मी व्हिच इज फास्टर कॉसी आर सोडर लेट्स ट्राई हम लेट्स ट्राई यस दैट यस दैट ट्राई लाइक दैट इज कॉसी द फास्टर वन हाउ इट इज मैथमेटिकली यू कैन से लुक द एरर in pseudo random number is inversely proportional to square root of n whereas here it is inversely proportional to n for example if you have iteration is 100 here what is error it is 1 over Square root of 100. That is 1 by 10. That is equal to 0.1. Whereas here, if iteration is, so you have 10% error there. But if you have same iterations, 1 by 100, not square root of 100. 100. So, so it is 0.01%. 0.1. So what is the error? Error. 1% error. Whereas here in the Two hundred number, ten percent error. This is one percent error. For under iterations, similarly for higher iteration, you can see this you can can the error reduce much faster here in quasi random numbers. But there is one dis disadvantage with quasi random numbers. Here you see d the term d if increase the uh, and convergence the error. Take long time. It takes more iteration. What is d? D is the dimension. That is, d numbers of random numbers were estimated per iteration. Okay, per uh, trial, you are getting d number of dimensions, d number of random numbers. Okay, it is at, at present how many random numbers are getting from that in this one? Uh, C plus seven library, one random. For instance, you can get one random number, but if you can get two random numbers, three random numbers, this far that will be helpful, right? Uh, for some cases, uh, for example, in this equation, you see equation one y equal to f of x comma random plus g of x comma random. Okay, so if it calls, it needs two random numbers. You can either call one by one, or you can call at the same time. You can get same time so getting same time from the uh, single engine is uh, faster than calling that engine two times so this equation is a two dimensional equation so it demands a random engine and pro pro produce two random uh, vectors per event okay per trial let us see the equation 2 here how many random numbers are involved three so three means what is the dimension the yeah, three dimension is a three dimension uh, vector is needed from the uh, random number generator so if uh, this uh, dimension increases then the error will also increase because they are proportional is it This term is proportional. Here you see the all ten and n zing both are not uh, doing very well and dimension going up. Whereas the Sobel goes uh, bad as as bad uh, it goes reaches the level of pseudo random numbers at higher dimension. At lower dimension, it is working very well. At higher dimension, the worst it goes to the worst case of pseudo random number. Okay, so if we say efficiency, efficiency, this is dimension. Okay, dimension D, efficiency. 
the sober number uh, sober random number is like this okay sudo whereas the sober number goes almost like this okay that is at i i i dimension which is sober whereas the alternate is that goes above so we we'll, we don't need to you will just ignore the alternate and sing because they are not stable at higher dimension okay whereas the sober it's very good at sorry the efficiency is like this you can say error you can say this is error error is lower at low dimension at higher dimension it reaches the level of pseudo random number so we keep the sober ignore the alternate and say okay so sobel is the uh, number which we, we we are interested because that error is very less at low, low dimension and at higher dimension it reaches the level of pseudo random numbers and it is a chooses the permutative polynomial based bit wise arithmetic without carry etc so this uses a bit wise arithmetic because simple uh, 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 if you do a uh, integer arithmetic that is time taking process compared to binary arithmetic so it uses the binary arithmetic even the mr tester also uses the binary arithmetic so they that's why they are doing a lot of complex work complex mathematics but they are doing it in binary arithmetic and fifth registers so they can do very fast that's why they could produce random numbers in a considerable short time okay so what is the thing we are going to take taking from this page the low discrepancy sequence are better in convergence sobel number is the best for uh, in choosing in taking and uh, considering low discrepancy sequence because that has very less error that produce very less error at low dimension and at higher dimension it reaches the pseudo random number okay if you want i for the theory about these numbers this book is the best one to refer and another book also there that is also dedicated to this subject okay